So it's uh, Wednesday evening, and we just got off the uh, fire line. This was our uh, fourth ship shift. We're in uh, northern Washington. Um, and, you know, this has been, I, I want to talk a little bit about why, I guess, you know, I really realized today, if I didn't know already, why I, I enjoy this so much. It's because um, of the people, uh, the people that you get to work with and uh, to be able to to do something um, that makes a difference um, and something that is that will brings adventure into your life and and excitement and and working with people uh, that are all uh, resolved uh, to accomplish a, a goal. Um, what what we're what what we're doing, or, you know, what I've been doing, I guess, is so. What happens is there's there's fires all over the state, as you many of you know, know if you've watched the news. And I'm sorry, uh, I'm a little bit punchy right now. I'm sl suffering from sleep deprivation. Our shifts usually start at like five o'clock in the morning, and we don't get to bed till about ten. Um, and you just get worn out uh, after a while. But um, the thing that I was just thinking of before I pushed the start button was that there's so th there isn't very many things in this world that you can um, really do to find adventure um, and, and really do something again exciting and, and and dangerous and thrilling and all of those things uh, as the as working on these fires. Um, I, I can imagine that the military, the camaraderie that you must have in the military with your with your regiment or or your group or uh, it is similar but you know I've never experienced that and I don't have access to that so this is the closest thing to it and I think it's very similar to it um, so w what happens is um, counties when, when there's a big fire in Washington for example counties um, uh, if they really get into trouble and they can't handle the fire with the resources that they have they'll they'll call and, and we'll, we'll do what we call a state mobilization so they'll request help from anyone across the state that can send help um, to, to, to put out these fires. So what we did is we got the call, our county did, and we pulled resources, we pulled engines and people from all over our county and made what we call a strike team, which consisted of uh, five engines and a water tender. And these are people, by and large, that we've never met before. Uh, we just live in this, happen to live in the same county. And they put us together and we have to work um, as a team as a cohesive unit um, to accomplish a certain mission or a certain goal. Uh, and it was so wonderful to see, um, you know, it's hard to get to know people and, you know, when you're all put together like that and, you know, it's, you, you kind of keep to your own, keep what you know, but as you work together, you start getting to know one another and having that in common and having a common goal just builds a teamwork that is just extraordinary to see. Um, after four days of working with these wonderful people, uh, we have made friendships um, that will last forever. Whenever I see any one of these people uh, again, if and when, um, I'll have that, that bond with them that um, it's just hard to get. I don't know how you would get it. I feel really lucky, very fortunate to be a part of that. Really fortunate to be a part of that. So um, the thing that was unusual is, is that when you do go on these mobilizations, uh, you have, um, they can keep you for 72 hours and then they have to send you home. Uh, but what they can do is if there's another one, they can send you another one and it resets the clock another 72 hours. So we went from one to another. So that was, that was two 72 hour, or it could have been two 70 hour, two hour shifts. And it looks like, uh, we may be going on a third, which is really unprecedented, but the, the fire season this year is just so bad that that, um, that, that is a possibility. Um, so we'll find out tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you know on that on the next next video. I've got some wonderful footage. Um, I really I am excited to put this, the videos together. I'm going to try really hard to tell that story, to try to to paint that picture, or let you experience what it's like um, to do this because it really is an extraordinary thing. It really is an extraordinary thing. Um, I'll, I'll I'll sum it up by my um, good friend Alan is also getting into the wildland firefighting and this will be his first season and he's about ready to be deployed and you know he's starting to experience that as well that that team building and working with highly motivated and quality people and he emailed me or sent me a text a couple days ago after he found found out that he had passed and graduated was going to get his red card and such and the thing that he said really stuck with me he just said my heart is full my heart is full and that really describes it 
I, I, I understand what you're talking about, Alan. I mean, I really, I really do get it. Um, I feel the exact same way. My heart is full.